my heart You think you really own me Not a start Still feels like the old me Cause I've been feeling down, 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 down Then I wake up I'm tired of running round, 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 round For the fake stuff Okay, back when I was young I had people looking down on me Now I'm growing up, now I'm trying to live so free People never saw me for who I was I'm just trying to get it, no, not because You doubt me I'm out there and faded Seems like everybody wants a peace I'm just trying for redemption Cause I've been feeling down, 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 down Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today guys, again, we're working on the 335, but got something even cooler today. So you guys know that we did the M-Tech, um, the M-Sport front end conversion. Um, not the complete conversion, I'm also doing the LCI conversion with the hood. That's coming down the road as soon as I actually get this thing to CHP, not CHP, but uh, VIN, verif VIN verification. I gotta get that done first so I don't have any problems. But yeah guys, so pretty much, um, finally got the bulbs in for the headlights. We're gonna be replacing those. And I got a couple companies that sent me out some cool little things I want to just make videos on. So we're going to make it all in one video, so it's not going to be like some pointless videos. You know, I don't want to make a two minute or three minute long videos. Like the last video was kind of short. I never intended it to be that short, but it was that short because uh, a lot of the footage got corrupted. What are you going to do? But anyway, so a lot of companies sent me out some things. Let me show you guys what they sent me out. And I just want to give a shout out to them and uh, we'll go forth and install all their products. So before we actually start this video, I'd like to give a special shout out to two of you guys who actually purchased the hashtag Save a BMW decals. I'm just going to say the first name. Honestly, I'm not gonna even do the last names. So Emmanuel, shout out to you, my guy. Appreciate it so much. Shout out to Sinu. Thank you guys so much for purchasing the decals. If you guys want to be shout out in the next video, make sure to check out that link down below. And you guys' names will be featured in the next video. So the last thing I really, really need, guys, is pretty much to install these bulbs right here. These are the white LED um, headlight bulbs for the halos. So these are around twenty dollars from Amazon. It was the cheapest set. I'm gonna go ahead and see the quality of them. Um, again, this is a budget bill, so I'm not going with like Lux just yet. Those are on, like 150 to 200 bucks, I think. So I'm not going with something that you know exclusive yet, because I'm also not sure if I'm going to keep those headlights. But I just needed to pass headline break, so I just needed some lights. Might as well make it white. Might as well make it look a little bit clean for now. But check out all these things. I got companies who sent me out. So you guys, I don't know if you guys know what those are, but those are for the the amber. It's basically going to get rid of this you know yellow, this orange you know amber thing. So it's gonna get rid of that, make it black. Oh, he also sent me out like matte black, gloss black, and uh, carbon. So we got matte black right there, a couple of those, a couple sets. Gloss black, a couple sets of those, and carbon, a couple sets of those. I think the best one's gonna be for my car for now is gonna be the gloss. We're gonna go ahead and go try the gloss on this car. And this was the main thing I messaged him for. This is an eBay seller. He does the custom air scoops, as you guys recall. Um, he also does all kinds of custom things for um, the BMW as well. So he, I, this is the main thing I requested. He sent me out a couple sets to give away to you guys as well. So smash the like button if you guys like what he's doing. But yeah, basically, I don't know if you guys know what these are, but basically it gets rid of that, that white portion. It makes it look like an LCI. So it just goes around it and just makes like an LCI looking, uh, you know, rear, so none of this white tail light looking stuff will be here. So he sent me out a couple one of those. I actually have it on my other U90. It looks amazing. And I just want to give a special shout out to Beeland Performance. I don't even know how they sent this out to me because I'm pretty sure I didn't even, you know, contact them or reach out to them or anything. But um, yeah, that's their information right there. I have the link down in the description as well. They sent me out push button starts for days. So. I'm gonna be installing this one in the 335. I like the blue one, it turns out a lot more than the red. But I do have a red, I don't know, um, probably gonna give this to the, my, the body shop guy that's gonna be helping me, you know, fix the quarter panel. I don't know if you guys also saw in the last video because the video got corrupted. I saw it working on this side. Um, that's the only hole I didn't fill in, but you know, I sanded it down, put some Bondo, and you know, it's pretty flat, but I still need one more layer, like that, uh, it's like a layer you put over all of it. It all feels fluid, it's not gonna feel you know, weird or any bumps. I want it to look, I want it to look OEM. So I'm gonna take it out of the shop for them to finish up the rest of it, put on that last layer. And I'm also, you know, gonna be giving this push stop on because he actually wanted one of these guys. So I'm gonna hook them up. But yeah, shout out to Beamland again. They also sent me a lot of interior lights and more than I need. 
for the interior of this car. So it's going to make it LED interior lights rather than the, the yellow lights. So this car is pretty much going to get updated completely from the exterior to the interior to everything. So if you guys again are excited, make sure to smash that like button. And then start installing all the mods and modifications. Start making the car, you know, come as a whole. Alright guys, so I'm going to be thinking toward the end of the video how I'm going to be giving away all these, you know, decals for your front and rear. I'm going to think about how I'm going to send these out and who am I going to give it to. So I'll think about that in the end of the video. So if you guys want to stick around to the end of the video, I'll actually talk about how I'm going to be actually getting these out to you guys. I'm going to be getting them all out in this video. So you got what you need to do, you need to do it right after this video. So for those of you guys who always watch my videos, this is going to be for you guys pretty much. And it's going to be somehow that you guys can actually support the build, but at the same time get a lot more than just hashtag a save a BMW decal. You'll be getting something with these guys. I got to think about it toward the end of the video and I'll let you guys know. But in the meantime guys, just go ahead and install, let's just see the fronts. Once you saw the fronts, we'll install the rears, and then we're going to the bulbs. I know the bulbs are the most important thing, but I will have to get down and dirty, and I'm not really trying to get dirty and then use decals and stuff. It tends to, you know, it doesn't stick that well. I'm going to go ahead and clean up the headlights, and then going to go ahead and install the headlight ones, see how they look, and I hope they turn out cool, because uh, I think anything would be nicer than these amber ones right now. We'll just see how it looks. I don't know if it's going to look uh, nice or not, but let's give it a shot. Alright guys, from this angle, it's looking pretty good. I mean, as you guys can see, they're both around, they're both tinted now, and you don't see any of that yellow amber. Um, I did mess up a little bit on both sides because I was kind of rushing it. That was my bad. When you guys get these, make sure you take your time. Um, I wasn't really using a heat gun at first either, and I used a heat gun on that one to turn out a little bit better. But yeah, for me, I'm, it's not really my taste. I'm going to go ahead and take them off. I, I, it's just, it's not for me. I don't... I don't like having decals. I'm gonna end up replacing the whole headlight and I don't want any decals or anything like that on the headlights when I sell them. All right guys, we just moved the car out of the garage a little bit for me to have some room to work in the rear. Now this is one of my favorite mods though, unlike the front. The front's not so much my favorite, but the rear is like my absolute favorite. I'm gonna go ahead and tint out these white little, um, you know, these little, I honestly think they should have been red from factory. I don't know why they were ever white, but um, we're gonna go ahead, put the tint on them and see how they look. Hi right, guys, I love you guys so much, I can't BS you guys, so I'm going to have to reach out to the guy who sent me these, and he did want me to advertise them and obviously say positive things, but uh, I, I just can't do that in this video because I don't want you guys buying this and being screwed. So I got it for free, so I'm obviously satisfied, but as you guys can see, the line goes around here just fine, but then it has like a little bit of a gap right here, and like I tried this multiple times, you guys can see it goes around there perfectly. But then on this side, it has a gap, and it's a really big gap to where it comes out right here, and I'm just gonna be shaving this part off because for some reason, even when I put it over, it doesn't wanna stay down. It would just come back up. It actually stay, it stayed down on this side, which is good, but it didn't stay down on the other side, so um, I did actually shave it off. I'm actually gonna shave off this bottom portion because it does have a little bit of a turn. It doesn't wanna stay down right here. See right here? Keeps coming back up. But um, I can shave that off, no problem. But it's just the gap right here is kind of like the deal breaker. Um, it's not that big of a deal. I still love it. It still makes it look a whole lot nicer. Uh, but also with the front ones that I took them off, um, I did have a little bit of an issue. And the reason why I messed up is because, I mean, I have vinyl wrap cars all the time. So this shouldn't have been a problem for me. But for some reason, the, the overlay came a little bit down here. And I kind of had to, like, morph it. So, like, it wasn't the right size. Now, I respect the dude. He's an entrepreneur, a young entrepreneur. And he's trying to do what he can to start his own business. And I respect that. But um, I'm gonna have to go back to him. I'm gonna have to get back to him. I'm not gonna disclose uh, his uh, his account or what you know who he is because I don't want him to have any problems. But I mean, he's he's off by very very small measurements. It's not that big of a deal. So obviously I have nothing negative to say. And he sent it out for free to me to review. It's not like I had to pay for anything. So I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm happy. But for you guys, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put a link down in the description. But if you guys like the concept of these. I'll, I'll, set, I'll put a link down in the description for ones on eBay that have good rating so you guys can get the exact ones but like the, with the measurements precisely like you know good measurements. So let me show you guys the rear right now. Um, once I close the trunk it's looking really fine. 
I love how the rear t uh, tints end up looking. So uh, let me go ahead and shave off the little part, show you guys in a second. All right guys, so this is how the trunk looks with the LCI um, conversion. This is not like a full blown LCI conversion, but yo, you guys can see the transformation is already looking 10 times better. I love how this looks. I, I mean, this is probably one of the best and cheapest mods you could possibly do to your pre-LCI E90 when you get it. So that's a must have, that's a must do. I'm in love with that. But getting back to the topic, I love you guys. I would never actually sell you guys something that I know has a problem. He has sent me out some things in the past and I am risking um, you know, my business with him. So all right guys, we got the tint in the front, the tint in the rear, we got all that stuff done. Um, let's go ahead and get inside that headlight over there, replace the bulbs, see if it works, and then replace both of them to get the, the white halo rings. These guys, I did get them off Amazon, so I'll show you guys the before and afters. Uh, if you guys like how they look, they're only $20 and they come in like a single day. So if you guys like the quality of these, the quality of the lights, you guys let me know. Uh, but yeah, 20 bucks, can't beat it for two of them, of course. All right guys, so we went ahead and installed them. This is how the yellows look. This is the one that was good, but I, you know, I don't like it. And guys, here is the new white ones from Amazon for $20. I don't know if you guys can see that. I mean, those are no Lux 7s, but those are crazy nice. So compared to the difference, this doesn't even look like it's working compared to this one. It's like almost fully lit up. So I'm really excited about that. Um, um, the tabs don't fit on perfectly, so I will have to bend it a little bit, but it should fit in um, when I, you know, when I just get to it. But I'll show you guys what I mean by the other one. All I'm saying is that the head on these, where the actual connectors connect to, these are a lot thicker than the ones that come over here. These are a lot smaller. So I have to figure out a way to keep them on there without coming off. Probably just put some tape or some, you know, electrical tape or something to hold it down and it should be perfectly fine. But um, it's kind of weird that it's not the exact same size. But other than that, I mean, it's definitely workable. You can definitely do it. Hi right, guys, your boy just finished. Let me go ahead and turn off the music and turn off the fan. Um, let's go ahead and start up the car. I don't want to keep turning on the lights because if the battery dies and I have to wait an entire week again to smog. So let's go ahead and start up the car. Thank the Lord it started up. Uh, let's go ahead and show you guys the headlights. All right guys, now that's what I call a transformation. All the bulbs seem to be working just fine. You guys, look at that. That looks gorgeous. So if you guys want these uh, bulbs down below, I'll, I'll leave a link down in the description. You guys can go pick it up. It's only like $22 from Amazon. Comes in like two days. I'll probably even order another set for the 330i out there. So I might do it from both of them. But yeah, guys, it's looking really clean. I love it. We got a lot more things to install here, guys. I got some air scoops I got sent out. I got uh, some bulbs. I got some push starts. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna be installing the LED bulbs in this video, it's probably gonna be in a separate video, but I will be installing this push start button. So before I do that though, I'm gonna go ahead and install these air scoops. And once I do these air scoops, I'll go ahead and install that push start button. All right guys, I went ahead and installed the new air scoops. These are the same air scoops I got sent out to me from the, the last guy, so I'll, set, I'll put his link down in the description. He sent me the air scoops, uh, and yeah, fitment's really good. As you guys can see the hole, I can just straight put it in there, put it in there, put in the two screws. Show you guys, I'll let you guys know if the fitment is on point or not. All right guys, these are 3D printed air scoops. Um, he sells, I'm pretty sure these are the cheapest air scoops you find on eBay, and he's actually using my picture on eBay, <laughs> I noticed, to actually sell these air scoops. But as you guys can see, that goes in perfectly, bolts go in perfectly, fitment's really good. I'm gonna go ahead and close the hood for you guys, make sure everything's out of the way. Yep, close the hood. And you guys can see the air scoops right there. So even though I don't have the grills on, air scoops still look super mean. Um, the bumper does need a little bit of an alignment issue. It has a little bit of an alignment issue right there. I don't really know what the heck's going on with that. When I take it out of the body shop, I'll, I'll ask them, you know, if you know what's going on with that. But there's no damage to the bumper, so I don't know why. Maybe I just didn't put it on right, but whatever. But the air scoops, guys, looks really, really, really nice. And uh, let's turn on the halos one more time for you guys. Here it's on. Halos are on, air scoops are in there. Guys, this transformation is coming together. Let me know down in the comments how you guys like this you know, build, how's it going. But again, we're not gonna stop there. We're gonna go ahead and install the push start button as well. Let me go ahead and turn off the lights for this car dies on me. That would suck booty. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and install push start. He sent me a red one, black one, and a blue one. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and install the gloss blue, um, mainly because 
For some reason I like the blue a whole lot more. I'm gonna go ahead uninstall the push start and uh, you know install the new push start button. So again, special shout out to Beamline Performance for sending me out this product. If you guys want to get a push start button of your own, I have a link down in the description to their um, you know their their websites. So if you guys want to pick up a push start, they would have it there. So guys, rear is looking great coming around to the interior. You can go ahead and see the blue push start button looks really nice and honestly like complements the AC stuff. So it actually honestly looks like it's supposed to be here. But yeah, I love the blue and white. It looks super clean. I'm actually gonna put the aluminum trim in this car and I'm gonna put the white trim in the 330i mainly because the aluminum is kind of hard to find. And uh, I actually really want like something that's OEM and I don't want stuff that's wrapped in this car because I want this car to be, you know, as clean looking as possible. So I don't want anything like little, little wrap things, you know, showing. I want this car to be very luxury and clean. So I'm going to be taking out the trim putting in this car. Same applies to the M steering wheel with the paddle shift conversion. You know, the, the, the seats, the door panels. This car is going to be a full, you know, conversion. Alright guys, I know I'm a little bit dirty and because I have dirt all over myself because of working on uh, the, the headlights. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the car and talk to you guys about how you can get some of these overlays for your rear and for your front um, headlight. You know, just these ones right here. I'm not gonna be linking his just yet until you fix the dimensions. But in the meantime, I'll at least link you guys, at least let you guys get whatever I have left and see if you guys wanna do, uh, you know, some, some simple DIYs to your car to make it look nicer. Alright guys, so if you'd like to be shouted out like the people in the beginning of this video, make sure to check out the decals down below. I have these decals as well. It's gonna be the top link. Hashtag save a BMW. So if you guys want to be part of this crew to hashtag save a BMW, you guys are saving a life. You're saving a beautiful 335i. The decals that I sell now from here on out are going to be going towards the wrap of the car. The more you guys support, the crazier colors I can end up getting and I'll have more options to show to you guys and you guys get to choose from. So if you guys want to support the channel, check out these decals. These are a newer design. They're kind of like in a cursive font. I'll show you guys more when I set it on the car. Just these 24 hours on this video so, far, so I know that the, you know my loyal subscribers are actually watching this. And at the first 24 hours of this video, all the decals that I sell, I'm gonna be going through all the people who purchase the decals, and sometimes I only have like three, four a day, so you could possibly end up winning. I have around five overlays for the front and the rear, like all together, so if I only sell five, all five of you guys are getting, getting overlays for your car, so it's a win-win. But if I end up selling like six or seven or eight, then five of you guys are gonna be getting the overlays, and three of you guys unfortunately are not, but you guys are still supporting the build, so you're doing it for a good cause, you know what I mean? Well, actually guys, I have one, two, three, two carbon fibers, that makes it five, and six because I have a rear one. So I actually have six to give away. So if I only sell six decals to you guys by tomorrow, then you six all get part of the decals, the overlays for your cars for free. So these are the newer style of hashtag save a BMW. So if you guys wanna get any of these decals, again, supporting the build, you have pos you're most likely gonna end up with one of these, unless all of a sudden I sell like 10 and then six of you guys are getting it. But the majority is gonna end up getting it regardless. So make sure to check out the decals down below. It's gonna support the channel a lot. It's gonna help fund the wrap for this vehicle because this thing is almost done and it's gonna be ready for wrap soon. So without further ado, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button. If you guys are enjoying the 335i build, they cannot wait for me to actually track this car and race this car. You know, push it to the you know the maximum limits that the 335 can take. Make sure to smash the like button. Show some love down in the comments. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Just like the street lights lit this time.